75 more dollars and should be topped off. Oh boy. We just filled up the beast with some diesel. Had a nice bacon, egg, and cheese egg sandwich. Driving on the Long Island Expressway. About to hop on the Cross Island, south, through Queens, through Brooklyn. Gonna take the Barrazano into Staten Island. Why am I doing all of this five in the morning on a Saturday? Jeep parts. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. We are on our way to see Matty Vera once again because we're gonna get some Jeep parts for my 5.9. Just want to throw a big shout out to Maddie, to uh, Roy Remick, and all you guys in the Niner community. Thank you for welcoming me with open arms. Uh, it's great to be a part of it. And I'm just excited to get my Niner build going. I've been acquiring a few Jeep parts. No, I've been amassing a lot of Jeep parts. Uh, thanks to Maddie and my neighbor. Just give a shout out to Jim and little Jimmy. I, I got myself uh, another 5.9 engine with only about 100,000 miles on it. It's from his Dodge Ram. It does have a 4.6 RE, but the starter is on the other side, so I don't know if I'll be able to use that. Uh, still got to rebuild the transmission that's in my Niner. And this one uh, came with a 241 transfer case. So let me know if you guys have ever put a 241 transfer case in a Jeep. Still not sure what I'm gonna do. I now have a 241. Uh, 242, a 231, and I still believe I have the original 249. So I got a lot of options. I still got to rebuild the tranny, as I said, and I don't know, maybe I'll even drop in the engine with only 100,000 miles uh, eventually. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so uh, thanks again, guys. We are going to drive a little bit and see you, Maddie, and I'll catch you up when I get there. All right. New York City traffic, an accident has rerouted us. Now we're going 495 to 278 right through Manhattan into Brooklyn. Ugh, wish me luck. City. vacation went to Lancaster Pennsylvania and uh, way home had a little driveline vibration due to a bad u-joint and a rear drive shaft popped out the old one popped in a new one and it's good as new nice and smooth except for this bumpy in New York City traffic but we're about to jump over the bridge and then we'll be there in just a minute so to the bridge <laughs> Morning, Matt. Good morning. <laughs> Ready for some more Jeep parts? Oh, yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Hop down from this beast. Oh, wow. 
she is shining. She looks a little different than the last time. Yeah. Do you wax her every day? Basically. <laughs> Holy smokes. This is a clean liner. It looks almost showroom. How do you do it, Matt? How do you do it? A lot of hard work and a lot of time. <laughs> hard work and love. Well, congratulations. It's Thank gorgeous. You, so what do we got here? What's new? What's new? So the hood's new. The louvers are new. Uh, the grill's new. The headlights are new. The front bumper's new. Header panel's new. Tow hooks are new. Front skid plate's new. Oh, man. Uh, and all the door trim cladding, that's all new. Wow. So yeah, I just went, uh, I went crazy one Friday and just ripped everything apart. I had to pull this whole section of the unibody all forward because it got hit a long time ago but that came out really nice hidden damage and know all about that with the commander i just uh did a bumper swap myself yeah and then all this uh got from all from a parts uh five nine and it matched perfectly and it was in much better condition than mine wow and yeah man just been cleaning up waxing her and you know just taking care of it runs great i got the quadrants at the floor max now all around Hey, Quadratec floor mats all around. Clean as could be. Yeah, we're getting there. Next is the big headliner. Ah, headliner and, job. Oh, yeah. And I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> no, I'm not looking forward to that either. And then the sunroof. Oh, yeah. What's going on with that? Oh, yeah. Sunroof. Sunroof. But, yeah. Oh, well. You got new tires? No. So, well. So we started at the front end, that's what everything I did, but she just went to the shop and came back. I got a lot of work done. So brake pads are new, new rotors, new springs all around, new axles, new hubs, control arms, steering gear, got the new Moog springs with the extra coils in it to level out the truck. Fantastic. Hopefully. She drives as well as she looks. Oh, yeah. yeah we'll no. test that out in a minute. <laughs> For now, we got to load up this beast with some parts. What do we got today? Where do we start? Where do we start? We just got some miscellaneous stuff, some horns I took from the junkyard. Oh. Center console, but moving on project looks good. Some treats in there. Yeah. Center console. W WJ, yeah, privacy screen. And this is the front rear bumper in decent condition. Another step pad on the header panel, electric fan, some miscellaneous parts in that box. All the old uh, rock uh, door cladding. Door cladding, and, and it looks like this is your old hood. Yep, that's my old hood. That's Which, pretty... if I had the room, I wouldn't have got rid of it, but... Yeah, uh, pretty darn good. Just got to work out this little doink. But no big deal. There's probably like 12 coats of wax on this thing. <laughs> I can still see myself in it. All right. And we got seats and some other stuff somewhere. Yeah, seats in my other car. <laughs> All right. All right, let's load her up. All right, cool, cool. I didn't steal it, he knows. Oh baby, we got door panels. This is the one I needed real bad. Oh man, score. Yep, and we got your, uh, your rear door panels. Nice, actually in really good shape. And hold on. Gorgeous. One final thing. One more.
All right, guys, speaking of ZJ9 or door panels, I had worked out a deal where I was gonna send Joe Craven some regular door panels and he was gonna ship me back the Niner panels that I put on the General Grievous. But unfortunately, he rolled the Grievous. The Grievous is dead for the time being. I'm just worried about his family. His wife and kids was in the car when it rolled. She got some staples in her head. So thoughts and prayers to Catherine, not the Jeep, the person. But I uh, love you, Joe. Take care of your family. Forget about the door panels and the Jeep parts. Just make sure your kids are all right, your wife's all right. And uh, give him some love. I'll put his link in the description. So, um, Joe Craven, you're the man. And hope you get a, a new Grievous soon. All right, back to Jeep parts. A new grill. Yep. Perfect. I don't also even see Canadian. The, no chip. Oh, there. There. That's the only one. No biggie. All your tabs in here. Blood. Tabs. And these don't even crack. <laughs> a little cleaned up. Good. Score. This is awesome. Yep. Saving awesome. the best. For That's life. from a Canadian 5.0. Canadian 5.0. Yep. I had that shipped out. It smells like maple syrup. There you go, dude. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so in your experience, up? is it better to have more Jeep parts laying around in case or just sell them now, get the money when you can, and have a headache for your life? I don't know anymore. It's <laughs> a tough question, because right? I went, I went from having an immense amount of parts mm -hmm. and now having none, to be honest, I'm at a point where I want really none. Because you met me. And your Jeep's gorgeous. <laughs> Dude, what, this is my second summer with my Jeep, and I, yeah. it's, it's, on, it's crazy where it's came. A lot of work, a lot of work. I but definitely think parts collection is a little bit of an addiction. Yeah, you got yeah. a problem. Yeah, you got to like actually like reel yourself back in and be like, you know what, maybe I should stop. Yeah, yeah, time and a place for everything. So I've gotten Jeep parts and an XJ, a ZJ, a WJ, an Explorer, an Excursion. And, well, this is the first time with the excursion, and I think we did all right. Yeah. Packed this baby out. I think you got a lot of good parts. Like I said, I don't, I don't keep uh, I don't keep junk. Yeah. And, like I said, when it was time to let go, I was like, I got to sell everything at once. <laughs> got to let it go. Just got to let it go. Yeah, so I'll hold on for a while, and if you need parts, you, you know. Now you're the guy. You, you know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes! <laughs> go, baby, go! Can't wait. I, I just gotta button up a few loose ends on the commander. Once the commander's all squared, then I could bring the Niner home and then we could start. Oh, yeah. I think I'm at critical mass with parts now. Put and me over the edge. So, you know what? Yours gonna be a little faster than mine. Those headers add a lot of power to that thing. Yeah, a little breathing, a little oh, breathing yeah. action. Yeah, these stock manifolds just choke this thing. It's a damn shame. What are you thinking, Jeep? I know what they were thinking. They had to try to make it fit. Yeah. And pass oh, yeah. and pass some kind of emissions or whatever. Who knows? Oh. Hit it. <laughs> Wee -hee -hee -hee. Wake the neighbors up. It's eight o'clock on a Saturday. Everybody should be up. Wake up! Time to mow the lawn. Just that out, we got no lawn. <laughs> Right. 
All right, guys, we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you to Maddie for all the parts and your hospitality. Yeah. Next time Maddie's coming out to me, hopefully, we're yeah. going to get him a set of Basla headlight bulbs. We'll do a, a Basla LED I mean, install on this because those crisp, beautiful headlights got to get some nice new bulbs. So, All right, man, that's it. Anything else you want to add? We're going to follow you. Uh, at uh, NY yeah, right here now. Look. Oh yeah, look at that custom. At NYC Z eight eight Z. That's Z eight eight Z. Z eight eight Z is a uh, niner only stamp and the VIN numbers. So Correct. Four through eight. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. So yeah, it's very uh, very prestigious club we belong to now. Yeah, Thanks man. to Manny for the Jeep and the parts. And as soon as I get my, uh, what is that thing? Commander. I forget all other Jeeps when you drive a niner. I gotta get the Commander squared away, then I could build my niner. <laughs> But, uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow Maddie. Cool. Follow me. And I'll catch you on the next project. Peace. Sweet.